Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be going over another worksheet and we're going to start with addition. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with number three. This one's easier than the decimal problems we did previously, just because there's no decimals in it and all the numbers have the same amount of numbers in it. So we have 8,023 is added to 1,868. So what you want to do is you want to line them up, line them up to the place value. So this is the the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, and the thousands place of each number. So we just want to make sure they're all aligned. And they're all aligned. This is the ones place, the tens place, hundreds place, and the thousands place. So we're good. We can just start adding. Now, just don't be scared just because it's a big number. I know it might seem overwhelming, but it's just like regular addition. So 3 plus 8 is 11, right? Bring down the 1 and carry over the other one. 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And then 0 plus 8. And 0 plus anything is just the number, right? So 0 plus 8 should be 8. And 8 plus 1 is 9. See, that wasn't too bad, right? So our final answer is 9,891. And that wasn't so bad. So we're moving on to multiplication. Okay, we're going to start with number 8. This one right here. So we're going to do 59 times 5. Okay. We want to line them up again by the place values. So 59 has a tens place and a ones place, and 5 has just is a ones place. So we just line them up by the place values, and once they are, we can just start multiplying. This is just like regular multiplication. So 9 times 5, if you can remember from the multiplication properties, 9 times 5 is 45. That you have to memorize. So bring on the 5 and carry over the 4. And 5 times 5 is 25. You have to remember that also. Just make sure you remember the basic multiplication. And 5 times 5 is 25. So 25 plus 4 is what? That's 29. So we just put 29 on the bottom. And that's our answer. It's just 295. And that's it. Just have to just make sure to remember all the multiplication equations. Like the basic ones, like 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 5 times 5. If you remember those, then these should be easy. And we're going to move on to counting coins. This one I'm just going to have to show you. So we're going to be doing the very last one. And before we do that, let me just explain all the types of coins. So we all know that the, the brown one is a, pe a penny, right? And all the rest are silver, so we have to be very careful. Um, this one right here, um, with the man's face facing forward, is a nickel. And this one is the dime. It doesn't show well here, but the dime is the smallest of all the coins, so it should be pretty easy to recognize. This is a dime. And this is a half dollar. It's supposed to be really big. doesn't really show well. This is a really bad picture, by the way, but it's supposed to be really big based off of the other coins. If you haven't seen a half dollar, they're really big. But that's the half dollar, and this is another penny. So, how much does each thing equal? Well, a penny, we all know, is just one cent. So, one cent. And then we want, we want to add it to the nickel, which is five cents. Then, and then we want to add it to the dime, which is ten cents. And then we want to add it to the half dollar which is 50 cents because a dollar is a hundred cents and half dollar is half of a dollar which is which means it's 50 cents and then there's another penny so we just add one cent and i don't know if you can see that but that's what it that's that's what it looks like and i'll just explain all the coins again so there's a penny I'll go from lowest highest. There's a penny, then there's the nickel, then the dime, 
then the quarter which is 25 cents we didn't cover that yet and there's a half dollar and there's a dollar coin but those are rare and we don't have a dollar coin here so that's just all you have to know and so if we add all these values together it's just like writing regular, regular numbers so let's do the smaller numbers first so one plus five is six right plus the other one is seven so let's just simplify this to six cents and we have this left and 6 plus 10 is 16, or actually, sorry, this is supposed to be 7 cents. 7 cents. So it's 7 plus 10 is 17, plus 50. If you can't do this in your head, we can always just do it to the side. So 17 plus 50. Remember, line up the place values. So this is the 1's place, the 10's place, we're good. 7 plus 0 is 7, and 1 plus 5 is 6. So this is equal to 67 cents and that's it that's it just remember all your coins and yeah that's just it and then going to move on to the final work page which is english so we want to identify the nouns the verbs and the adverbs so okay the children are noisily playing football. I'll write up the sentence. The children are noisily playing football. Okay. Can we identify anything here? Okay, so first we want to identify all the nouns. So a noun is a person, place, or a thing. And let me just take out a few different pen colors. So for noun, we are going to underline it in black. So um, black is a noun. And then for the verbs, we are going to do them in red so this is verb and for the last one which are the adverbs we're going to do them in green okay so we all have that and let's first identify the nouns person place or thing can we find anything that's a person place or a thing Yes, we can. So the children are people. So that's that's a noun. And we'll underline it in black because it's a noun. And then what else? And then what else is a person place or a thing? Football. Football is a thing, right? So underline football in black, which makes it a noun. And we're going to go over the adverbs. I mean the verbs. So the verbs are basically something that you're doing. Like, it's action verbs are, like, you jump, you run, you swim, you walk. Those are action verbs. And linking verbs are, linking and helping verbs are, like, is, was, am, be. But right here, I don't see any linking verbs, so we'll just look at the, any verbs that are here. And so, so what are the children doing? We just want to know what the children are doing. And... They are playing. That's the verb that we're looking for. They're playing. So that's the verb. Because that's what they're doing. That's the action they're doing. And finally, the the adverb describes a verb. It describes how how they're doing something. Like how they're playing football. How are they playing football? Or it just describes like in detail what how they're doing the verb or how they're doing the action. So in this case, what describes playing? How are they playing? They're noisily playing, and that's the adverb, because it describes how they're playing. It says they're noisily playing, which means it's describing the playing. And so, those are all of our parts of speech, and that's it for today.